Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to edge highlight, which is a basic technique that every painter should know. We hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial, let's begin! Here I have prepped the surface to display edge highlighting. So this technique can be used as subtle highlights like on scenery or sharp highlights such as on power armor or swords. In this tutorial we will go over how to do nice straight lines with most success as well as minor curved lines. This strategy will also help you to adapt to harder edges in the future, but to start, especially if you have never done edge highlighting before, this is a really good entry point for you. So here I have my base coat color and my highlight color, and you can always go straight on with your highlight color for a quick one-off edge highlight. But if you want a little bit more artistry to the final piece, I like to mix a bridge between the two to land them about 50-50 visually. The key strategy here is using a downward stroke keeping your wrist and hands still, while controlling the stroke with your fingers only. Once you have done all the vertical highlights, you then rotate the piece you're painting to convert all horizontal edges to vertical ones. For the curved lines, I use the same technique with the downward stroke but giving it a little bit of a curve to it. Your fingers should allow for this without moving the hand or wrist. This center highlight, which is very common on swords, are the ones that run down the center of a shape. This type of edge does not have the same sharp 90 degree guidance that other shapes we just painted have, and that makes these highlights much harder to do cleanly. Using this downward stroke will help you to keep your lines as steady as possible, but some cleanup is commonly needed for these type of shapes, even for established artists. Now I'm going in with a second highlight and I'm just hitting the corners of things here to give it a little bit more of a pop. This is a quick and simple way to add some extra definition to your piece. So here's the final two point edge highlight and that's really it. All right, and that's it. Now, the great thing about this technique is that you can transfer it essentially into anything you need to edge highlight. You got the basic tools to get the job done. Now, the hard part is to get the practice down, which means you got to spend a lot of time practicing these techniques. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we can't wait to see you again next time. Happy painting. This video was made possible by our amazing patrons who kindly donate to keep this public project going. If you want to become a patron, don't hesitate to head over to our page and pledge a subscription. We post some longer videos from time to time with more in-depth uh, material when we have extra to spare. You can also contribute by shopping some Oscar Lars Painting Studio merchandise. The links to these are down in the video description. Intro video was created by Robbie Shillstone, editing was done by the amazing Martin Kramer, Sculpt's use was uh, a weapon from the Man Crusher Gargan box set by uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar Games Workshop. Palette and painting handle used are from Redgrass Games. Please don't forget to smash those likes and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching and happy painting!